Dating requires a lot of trial and error to find the right one. They're like job interviews. The more you date, the better you get at it. Through your experiences, you discover who you are, what your values are, and what you want in a partner. Rather than growing frustrated or cynical after failed relationships, use them as learning opportunities. Don't beat yourself up and allow yourself to be vulnerable again. Wondering who's a good match for you? Here are eight types of lovers. One, the child. Have you ever dated someone who acts younger than their age? This person may be capable of developing life skills such as paying bills on time, cooking, and completing chores, but they might make excuses each time. At first, you might find them exciting and fun. After all, they most likely reminded you that deep down you're young at heart too. But once the honeymoon stage fades, reality sets in, and you realize they aren't willing to pull in their weight on everyday responsibilities. As this happens, you might begin to wonder if you can be with them long term. Two, the controller. When dating the controller, you might not detect their possessive tendencies right away because they're good at seeming helpful. They may have good intentions and do what they believe is best for you, but over time, you may start to feel invisible or like your needs aren't being met. This individual can be highly reactive, treating disagreements like battlefields, believing they need to argue in order to come off as strong-willed. As a result, they have a tendency to respond instead of listening in order to understand. When people date controllers, they eventually feel drained and come to realize they're compromising their identities to satisfy their partner's desires, which isn't healthy. Consequently, they often leave them, and that's okay, because at the end of the day, we owe it to ourselves to find happiness. Three, the codependent one. Have you ever dated a needy person or find yourself drawn to people with high demands? It feels good to be needed, admired, and play the role as a heroic protector but dating someone who is codependent can also be challenging. They might rely on you for everything, get jealous easily, and seek constant validation. Instead of giving in to their demands, remind them that they have what it takes to stand on their own two feet. Let them know that it's not yours or anyone else's responsibility to heal them and help them embrace uncertainty. Fears are valid because they will forever exist on the human spectrum of emotions, but they don't have to drive our reactions. Four, the player. Dating a player isn't a problem if you're okay with being in an open relationship. But if you're looking for true loyalty and commitment, this type of lover will only lead you down towards heartbreak and disappointment. Players are notorious for being manipulative and sweet talkers, but pay close attention to their actions. If they frequently cancel plans last minute with you or promise you one thing but don't live up to their word, don't bother wasting time trying to mend this relationship if they refuse to own up to their mistakes. Five, the workaholic. Ambition can be a sexy trait in a lover. And by dating a workaholic, you might come to find that you become more goal-oriented too. Dating someone who's career-driven can have its downsides. Life as we know it isn't just all work and no play. Things don't have to be in order all the time, and you don't always have to maintain a certain image. Sometimes having a good laugh and making memories is what we need. If you're dating a workaholic but want to make your relationship work, remind them to clock out and unwind with you over a movie or a game night with friends. Six, the adventurer. Do you prefer someone bold, adventurous, and free-spirited? It can be an eye-opening experience when you date a lover who can introduce you to new places you've never been before and encourage you to step out of your comfort zone. Some obstacles you may face, however, are recklessness and haste. Adventurous lovers tend to be impulsive, and while this may intrigue you initially, as your relationship deepens, you may come to find your craving stability over spontaneity. It's good to talk to your adventurous lover and show them that creating a plan in advance can be beneficial. Seven, the therapist. Having a partner you can go to with your problems is essential to building strong connection. But when you start to see your partner as more of a therapist than a lover, it becomes an issue. Your partner is there to offer love and support, but they're not required to hold your emotional baggage for you, nor should they have all the answers. It's easy to fall for someone with a therapeutic aura but never take advantage of their kindness because they might learn to resent you in the very end. And eight, the logician. Do you want someone who can have intellectual debates with you? If so, the logician may very well strike your fancy. Great problem solvers, self-sufficient and analytical. These lovers may not be the best at remembering anniversaries, but you can count on them to give you refreshing perspectives. Logicians are deep thinkers by nature, so you won't have to worry about settling for anything shallow because once they commit, they're in it for the long run. 
Which type of lovers have you encountered, and what is your ideal one? Let us know by leaving a comment down below. If you also like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and as always, thanks for watching.